Today I'm going to show you how to flash your ASUS Zenfone 5 CN model to worldwide firmware. This guide can also be applied if you have the TW model and want it to flash it to WW. This will grant you access to Google services, including the Google Play Store. Pandaworld sells only the CN model, so that's what I'll be working with. By performing these steps, you will be completely wiping the contents of your device. Please make sure to perform backups before continuing. You'll need to manually update your device in the future to WW firmware updates as taking the automatic update will cause issues. I have adapted this guide from a few that I found on the internet and credit is given in the description. There's also a lot of links that I'll be sharing throughout the video and those are also in the description. Finally, I highly suggest that you watch the whole video before doing any of these steps. Let's get started. The first thing you'll need to do is allow installation of apps from unknown sources. This will allow you to sideload APK files onto your device. To do this, go to Settings, scroll down to Security, and then check Unknown Sources. You may see a warning message, just go ahead and press OK. Now that you've turned unknown app installations on, you'll need to launch the web browser. Go to bit.ly forward slash z5 root and press Enter. The root APK file will now download. Once it is finished downloading, install the APK by either tapping the notification or by opening it from the Downloads app. Follow the instructions to install the root app and then launch it. Now make sure to turn off Wi-Fi and cellular data before proceeding. Make sure that Super SU is selected and then press the button to root your Zenfone 5. Once the process completes, you'll need to reboot your device. After rebooting, you should now have root access. You'll also need to download and install ES File Explorer so we can copy a couple of files later. You can download the APK package from bit.ly forward slash ESF Explorer. Open the app after installation. You'll then need to go to the left sidebar, turn root explorer on, and change all mount permissions to read write. After you've completed all of these steps, you'll need to move over to your computer. The first step is to download the correct driver for your Zenfone 5. So open up a web browser and type bit.ly forward slash z5 driver. You can then extract the contents and run the installer. If you're using Windows 8 or later, you may receive an error stating that the drivers are not compatible. A quick workaround to this is to right click on the exe file and troubleshoot compatibility. Then tell the wizard that it ran with Windows 7 and it will prompt you to retry the installer using compatibility settings. This will trick the installer into thinking that you're running Windows 7 and has no effect on the overall driver performance. You'll also need to download an ADB installer tool from bit.ly forward slash ADB install. You could also download the entire SDK, but you won't be needing anything beyond ADB and Fastboot. Once downloaded, run the installer with administrative privileges. Type Y for every question and then you'll need to go back to your web browser. Now you need to download two ROMs of version 1.14.40.50. Their first is going to be for your particular phone model. If you have a CN Zenfone 5, then go to bit.ly forward slash Zenfone 5 CN. Or if you have a TW Zenfone 5, substitute CN with TW. So the URL would be bit.ly forward slash Zenfone 5 TW. You'll also need to download the WW ROM from bit.ly forward slash Zenfone 5 WW. After both of these files have downloaded, extract the embedded zip files. So open the original files you downloaded and you'll see another zip file for each. Extract these files to your download folder. Just to reduce confusion, delete the two downloaded folders, and just keep the two unzipped ROM files. Now open the ROM that matches your current phone model. So if you have CN, open the CN zip. First select fastboot.img and boot.img. You can do this by holding down control and then clicking both files. Now open another instance of File Explorer and navigate to your ADB folder in the root of your local drive. Copy the files from the zip archive to this ADB folder. Now open the recovery folder and copy recovery-from-boot.p over to the ADB folder. And finally, open up the etc folder and copy install-recovery.sh. You can then close the archive once you've copied all four of these files. 
Right-click Install Dash Recovery SH and open it with Notepad. Do not open it with WordPad or other rich text editors. You must use Notepad. Change slash system space slash recovery dash from dash boot dot p to slash data slash local slash tmp slash recovery dash from dash boot dot p. Don't change anything else and then save this file. You'll now need to connect your Zenfone 5 and use it as a media device. Copy install dash recovery dot sh and recovery dash from dash boot dot p to the download folder. Then disconnect your Zenfone 5 and unplug the sync cable. Open ES File Explorer, navigate to the download folder, and cut both of these files. Navigate to Data, Local, TMP, and then paste these files. Exit the app and power off your phone. You'll now need to press and hold the Volume Up button and Power button. Release the power button after you see the ASUS logo. If you can't seem to access Droid Boot, make sure that you're holding down the power button until after you see the logo. You're now technically in fast boot mode, so reconnect the phone to the PC. Now go back to your ADB folder and hold Shift and right click. Select Open Command Window here and then type Fast Boot Devices. You should see your Zenfone 5 listed here. If not, try to manually install the driver from earlier and repeat this process. You'll now need to enter two commands. The first is fastboot flash fastboot fastboot.img. Your phone will indicate the result of this command. If it was successful, continue with fastboot flash boot boot.img. If the phone says the flash was successful, reboot your phone into normal Android. Once you're back into Android, type ADB Shell and press Enter. Then type SU and press Enter. Finally, type SH data slash local slash temp slash install dash recovery dot SH and again press Enter. Wait for it to complete and then close the command window. Now turn on airplane mode on your phone to continue. You now need to downgrade your phone to CN 1.14. To do this, you'll need to disconnect your phone and power it off. Once it's fully turned off, you'll need to repeat the steps from just a minute ago. Press and hold the volume up button and the power button until you reach Droid Boot. Now use the volume keys to select recovery and then press the power button to select it. The phone will reboot into stack recovery. You're not done yet though. You'll now need to press and hold the volume down key and then quickly press the volume up key. This will bring you to yet another menu, where you'll need to select Apply Update from ADB. Connect the phone to the PC to continue. Copy the CN-ROM we extracted earlier to the ADB folder and rename it to CNROM.ZIP, all lowercase. Make sure that you're copying the actual ROM zip and not the file you downloaded with the ROM inside. Open the command window by holding shift, right click, and select open command window here inside of the ADB folder. Type ADB sideload cnrom.zip and wait for it to complete. You'll first see progress on your computer, but the phone also indicates progress afterwards, so don't do anything until it's completed on the phone. Then disconnect and restart your phone. Once it's booted into Android, quickly verify that you're on version 1.14. If not, you've done something wrong and should repeat the previous steps. If you are all set though, power the device back off. Once it's completely off, press and hold volume up button and power button until you reach Droid Boot. Now use the volume keys to select recovery and then press the power button to select it. The phone will then reboot into stack recovery. You're not done yet though. You'll now need to press and hold the volume down key and then just quickly press the volume up key. This will bring you to another menu where you'll need to select apply update from ADB. Connect the phone to your PC to continue. Copy the WWROM we extracted earlier to the ADB folder and rename it to WWROM.ZIP, all lowercase. Make sure that you're copying the actual ROM zip and not the file you downloaded with the ROM inside. Open the command window by holding shift 
right click and then select open command window here inside of the ADB folder. Type ADB sideload www.rom.zip and wait for it to complete. You'll first see progress on your computer, but the phone also indicates progress afterwards, so don't do anything until it's completed on the phone. Now select white data slash factory reset to complete the process. This will ensure that you won't have issues with any apps or the transition from CN or TW to WW. Once fully wiped, disconnect and restart your phone. Go through the setup and then go to settings, about, upgrade, and disable the automatic update. Also note that your root access has been removed. You should now be running the WW firmware and also have access to Google services. If these steps worked for you, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to see more unboxings, reviews, and guides.